I'm Beth Elderkin. I'm Claudia. I'm an Avar. And we are here at New York Comic Con, or actually, should I say, we're now in London, or rather, the moving city that is formerly London. Uh, we are starting, we're doing a show floor. We're going to show you everything we got in store inside the show floor at New York Comic Con. We're starting outside because Mortal Engines actually has this really cool display out here where everyone waits in line and then they actually put on the outfits as if they're doing the thing and they're like moving around like they're in the moving city. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, the, it's one of the coolest uh, setups I've seen outside of the show floor in a while. So I'm, I, I'm really excited to do it myself at some point. It's like a perfect little welcome thing. And it's also good to welcome because we are welcoming io9's new Instagram. Yo, yes, we are at, io, at io9.com, D-O-T, com. Uh, on Instagram, and we will be covering the entire uh, convention uh, all four days. That means cosplay, that means just cool things that I find. Um, it's going to be stories, we'll also be on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. But we are now on Instagram, and that Instagram is me, so come say hi. <laughs> She's been shooting photos all morning, starting, of course, with a cosplay dog, because you have to start with a cosplay dog. Yes, there is a, a small do dog that is Pikachu that I posted this morning, and uh, I think that's it started my morning off right. All right, so we are going to head inside and see what New York Comic Con has in store for us. All right, so we are starting with a little peek at Dragon Ball Z. Now, we don't really talk a lot about Dragon Ball Z at io9, but I just wanted to point this out because I love this display. We've got like a temple dojo situation going on just to our left right over here. And it's just, it's really neat and a lot of fun. and. I was super into it. And then you've got Giant Dragon, because there is no New York Comic Con without at least one giant dragon. And since we're missing yeah. Game of Thrones this year, again, you know, we gotta get our dragon somewhere. Yeah. You know, they stepped in, coming in clutch. All right, so we're gonna head on to the next location. All right, well, we are coming up on a sideshow. It's actually usually one of my favorites every time we come to a con because you have some amazing statues. Wow. And we've got some really, really great ones. We have, I loved this Aquaman one uh, because it's just like the classic Aquaman, but it's also done as Jason Momoa, as the character. So it's kind of a great way to visualize yeah. what he's going to look like in that costume specifically. Yeah. Although I think, is that the Justice League costume, not the Aquaman costume? Oh, I thought this was the traditional one. Yeah. It's got the green and everything. But I don't, I don't know if it's going to be the one in his movie. Oh, oh yeah, like he's going to he's going to yeah. have a couple different versions. We got Batman versus Superman too, so. Oh yes. And we got Spider-Man over here um, fighting uh, with um, Dr. Octopus, which is really nice. Um, have you played the new Spider-Man game? I have and I don't have a PS4. <laughs> oh, I've been playing I I almost got the PS4 specifically for cuz I knew Spider-Man was coming out. Uh, and yeah. I, Everything I've heard is that it's all that in a bag of chips, so. <laughs> it's really good, and the story is so beautiful. And I've also loved uh, our, our co-worker James Whitbrook's his coverage of yes. Spider-Man. Charles, William Moore has yes. been doing some great stuff. It's just like the gift that keeps on giving, yeah. which has been great. And then we're going to sneak in over here because we've got the Infinity Gauntlet, and we have Venom right here around the corner. Uh, Venom is coming out really soon. It is right around the corner. It's tonight, isn't it? Is it tonight? Oh, it's this weekend. Yeah. My the, my life is just flashing before my eyes. <laughs> I was like, I think it's this weekend. <laughs> but yeah, you got this big, like the way that they did the tongue on this guy is just There's a lot to unpack there. There really is. <laughs> like I saw someone gave a review of like two tongues up and I'm like, Mm -mm. Okay. Thank you for that, but I mean, there's a certain part of the internet that would really like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be moving on from here. Yeah, some great figures that we got at Sideshow. Oh, I love She Hulk. That one looks so good. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we got more classic Thor as well. Thor does not skip arm day. got Pop Minded Hallmark, like Funko Pops really big right now and you're seeing a lot of different versions of those. And I mean, they're cute. I mean, it's a, it's amazing how big like the Funko Pop sensation has It has become. its own fandom pretty yeah. much. Like, yeah, some of them are selling for like hundreds or even like thousands of dollars yeah. for really rare ones. And I know they have some 
exclusives here at New York Comic Con. One Piece, some nice anime. I mean, we don't really do a lot of anime coverage, but this is just a present for Beth because Beth loves anime. So I'm, I'm walking by it just because I can. Because sometimes, you know, you gotta find the things that you enjoy. Yes. Do they have Sailor Moon? Because that's what I enjoy. <laughs> yes. And uh, this is something I was pointing out uh, right here because this actually really brought me back. Uh, if you turn around right over here, uh, they have like this really cool photo booth thing. But it's not just any kind of photo booth. This is basically my childhood. So when you're when I was like a preteen teenager in high school, I would go to the mall and you'd do those Japanese photo booths that gave you all the fun flowers and characters and stuff. Why don't they have those anymore? Like they're Cause fun. Because we, we have phones. But it's still fun, and they have like cute Sailor Moon stickers. I want cute Sailor Moon stickers on Instagram. Like, can you can you give me those, please? Like, gotta wait in line for him, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, but I just found this really cute, and I just saw it, and it just took me back to young Beth, and that was really, really special. All right, we're gonna move on. We got Dark Horse over here, got Hellboy. Hellboy does have a panel this year for the upcoming movie. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I remember seeing the previous Hellboy movies, have not read a lot of the comics, but I am excited to see what this new iteration is going to be. Um, what about you? Yeah, I'm just excited for David Harbour. I am always excited to see what he does in everything, and he's worked really hard to get that Hellboy bod. Uh, so uh, I'm just excited to see like what he does and what they do with it. Because I mean, the the first one, I, the first one I thought were cool. Um, yeah, but the real question is: the dad bod going to come back? Oh, I hope so. Are we getting I a resurgence so. of the dad bod? We're going to be heading over and just taking a quick peek at the Funko Pop area, which is, as you can see, incredibly popular because we have a big, nice Gladiator Hulk Funko Pop display, which... He looks so cute! I love this so much. Like, I know the whole thing about Funko Pops is that they are designed to be really small. Yeah. But I'm also kind of wanting a really big one of that size. Yeah. Because you can really appreciate just how adorable it is. It's just really cute. All right, we're gonna be heading over this way, past the crowd of people. So we have oh, some wow. amazing, uh, I believe this is uh, the Batman, the ninja one, correct? Yes. Yes. That and they're making the anime out of? Uh, they, they had the anime. Yes. And it was incredible. I mean, it was, it was, it was weird and it was really out there. But also but, just yeah. like, it, it was a welcome addition. Yeah. That's that's the best way that I can describe yeah. it. It was, it was absolutely welcome. And then we have, of course, so some cool. other sculptures over here, some really gorgeous artwork, a lot of DC stuff, but really loving everything that they're bringing to the table over here. Yeah, I, I just think, love the is movement that like, in Is these. that Catwoman on her bike? Yes, it is. I wanna, I'm gonna say. Heck yes, it yeah. is. And she's looking good and she is moving. And moving, we're gonna move as well. So there are some other booths that are really awesome here. Uh, over in the corner, uh, Glass, the uh, M. Yes. Night Shyamalan movie, I about that one. has this really interesting installation that you can't really see from the outside because they're keeping it mysterious, where you go in and much like the Westworld one, they give you yeah. this personality test and it determines whether you're a hero or you're a villain. I'm guessing most people are going to try to be villains. I mean, that's what I would do. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, it's like a Hogwarts personality test when most people try to be Gryffindor, but like, um, we all know Slytherin's better anyway. Slytherin, so. Slytherin all the way. Um, also, Good Omens has a really cool installation yes. here where you actually have to take an elevator to this secret location and they determine whether you go to heaven or hell. So a lot of these are about choice and yes. not having this one concrete answer. Yeah. Uh, but we are actually closing here on one of the biggest things we're all excited about, Star Wars Resistance. Uh, this is their cute little display they have going on. Uh, you take a photo inside this X-Wing, become one of the fighters for the Resistance, join the Resistance. So I know you are super, super stoked about this show, so yes. please tell me everything um, you're looking forward so to. So it occurs between, uh, right, like right before The Force Awakens, it's about a Resistance spy in training. His name is Kaz. Um, and it's gonna be on Disney Channel, so it's gonna be more for kids than like Disney XD or like Rebels was or anything like that. But 
Um, a lot of our favorite characters are going to be in it. Phasma, um, Poe, uh, BB-8, obviously. Um, and the thing is that basically, like, they are on a, basically the equivalent of like a truck stop for like for like racers. Um, and he's he's trying to get information. He's a spy in training, but he joins with these racers. So there's going to be a lot of, if you'll forgive me, uh, pod racing. It's not <laughs> pod racing, but see, so I'm this curious is pod if, I'm curious if this is going to have kind of like a Deep Space Nine vibe where. Where there is a, a settlement, but there's also the, the, the journeys, there's also the adventures. So you have this home base where you bring in all these different yeah. people together. Yeah. Oh, we're missing BB-8. BB-8 is on the other side of the plane. Oh, my, oh there oh. he is. Yes. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us for this look at New York Comic Con show floor. We are going to be here all weekend long, not only getting you posts, giving you videos, giving you cosplay, but we are also going to be on the social medias. For example, on Instagram. It, yes, on Instagram, follow at io9dot.com, uh, and we will have stuff in our story. We will have posts, um, and we'll be uh, collecting cosplay is the biggest thing. If you are a cosplayer, feel free to come up to me. Um, I really want to see your cosplay. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, you guys, and we will see you this weekend.